Hi everyone and welcome to this week's guidance video. You're here with Karen Slater from Holistic Essentials Therapy and Consulting. And the readings for this week are for Monday the 8th of January through to Sunday the 13th of January 2018. And what an amazing year it is this year. You know, it's the master number 11, which really brings in the energy of higher consciousness it really brings in the energy of soul awakening soul alignment soul remembering and that's such an important word because on this journey all of us are on together there is nothing that we don't already know there are insights and clarities and guidance that we receive which appears in that moment to be new knowledge to us. But really at the fundamental base of it all, we are, those, those things are occurring to wake us up, to snap us out of our, I don't wanna say daydream because it is really a dream, but it's to really snap us out of the illusion of this vortex of I guess the material world, the very physical world that we are all being sucked into. And when we get these beautiful messages and guidance and insights and that can come through, you know, books or people or conversations, the universe will find a way to actually, you know, get that into you. Um, and I do this like this because, you know, it's that, it's that moment when you go, oh, it kind of takes your breath away. And you go, wow, all right. I don't really understand what this is, but this is something. Um, it, it's when your hairs stand on end. It's when you get that, and sometimes it can be that real drop in the belly or you just go cold all over and go, what is really happening here? So this is such an amazing energetic year for all of us who are, ready really to to know more or to understand more or to wake up and remember who we really are so that's just so exciting and if you are ready and if you're watching this and if you're following my page you absolutely are um sometimes we can think we're ready and then we get a bit frightened and we go oh i don't really know if i am and it's interesting because fear has come up for me and you know I, I'm certainly not, uh, I can't remember the word, oh my god, give me the word. I'm not immune to fear in any way whatsoever and that's the only reason that I can speak to any of you about any of the stuff that I talk about is because I have to live it myself and you know when I get insights and when I go through an experience and I have a little bit of an aha moment and I get some insight on that and, I, and then I share it with you well then it really just um, increases that that knowledge and that knowing within myself because information shared is you know twofold really it just increases your own abundance your own strengths your own love and infinite joy and so this morning for me of course I've just dropped a card so this morning for me, I, I'm so excited. You've all he me, heard me talk about meditation and those of you who've been following me for a long time know how passionate about meditation I am and how much it's changed my life. And because of that, I just wanted to share that, that opportunity with as many people as I could for you know the benefits of meditation and the insights and the awakenings that that brings not only you know as well as the the physical benefits that you receive so there's emotional there's physical and there's spiritual benefits to meditation it's huge if you're wanting to reconnect and remember who you are and so i as you all know i'm running free live meditations this month um, i'm running two so if you've already signed up thank you Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you haven't, there's obviously still time and I'll pop the link in. Um, so I've looked at the numbers this morning of who's already signed up. And you know, for me, it's huge. It's 92, it's massive for me. It may not sound like a lot for many people, but for me, I'm just so excited that I'm going to have the opportunity to have that many people meditating at the same time. It just is such a beautiful opportunity to bring 
peace and love and harmony and that light onto the planet and that's that's really I have a dream and my dream is to really get as many people as I can meditating you know whether it's at the same time or just meditating in general but what that also did was it brought up my ego mind which you know I just love and adore and it's getting in the background going oh, what about the program because I'm using a it's actually on zoom and we'll all be together and we'll all be able to see each other and there's all this na nagging that's going on in the back of my mind about what if it fails what if it doesn't stand you know the internet doesn't you know all, all of these what ifs anything that could possibly go wrong my ego mind is driving me absolutely crazy so what did I do I hit my journal which I don't have in here and I journaled about it and I really asked the questions where is this fear coming from what is you know what is really going on here and and it was so interesting to me because when I was journaling, I see what I do is I will journal directly to my guardian angels. I ask them questions and then I called in my guides and I asked them specific questions. And I just, you know, with the automatic writing, it's so beautiful. You just write and the answers come to you. And so what was really interesting to me that came up about fear today is I really had to speak to the, and I guess it's like a part of myself, the, an aspect of myself that's feeling fearful. And so I really had to speak to that fear. And what I found really interesting, so the subconscious mind will be frightened of anything that it's not done before. So this is new for me, you know, using this program, putting this together is, is something new for me. So because my subconscious mind doesn't have reference points from the past, it's going into ah, alert, 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 abort, <laughs> which I'm not going to do. Um, and so, and, and that's what the subconscious mind's job is. It does this for us. So it was so interesting to me um, because I know on a logical level that once I've done it once, the subconscious mind will go, okay, we survived. Everything, you know, went perfectly as it always does because my beautiful angels and the universe absolutely never ever lets me down and it never has. So that was one of my questions. Have you been let down before? Well, of course the answer to that is no. But coming back to the fear and speaking to the fear, what I really felt was the innocence, yes, that's the word, the innocence of the fear, the childlike aspect of the fear and the need of the fear to feel safe, to feel loved, to feel um, protected. And so I really had to write to the fear. So for me, I guess it was a bit of like an energy, like I visualized it as an aspect, an energy aspect of myself, you know, almost like an inner child aspect of myself. And I really talked to that aspect of myself. And you know, there have been times in the past where I've made choices that haven't been healthy choices for me that have put myself at risk. You know, I have, you know, done things that have emotionally or physically harmed myself on some level. And while it may not have been my intention at the time, you know, I I've done that. And so there's that aspect of myself, the fear-based aspect of myself or the inner child within me that, you know, needs that constant reassurance that I'm, I'm not going to, to harm or put myself in a situation or put that aspect of myself in a situation to be harmed. So I was just really talking to the inner child within me. I was just reassuring her that she's loved, that I'm, you know, will do everything. And it was, I was very careful about the language. So I really made the statements that I will, you know, I apologized for decisions and actions that I've done in the past that have perhaps caused her harm. And I, you know, really made the statements to her that I will do everything within my power that I pass possibly can to ensure that I keep her safe and I keep her, keep her protected and that I love and cherish and adore her and that I will not intentionally cause her pain and that it, I will do everything within my power to prevent that as long as I can. I can't guarantee that, 
But if that does happen in the future, it won't be intentional and we can work through it together. So I just wanted to really share that with you because I'm going to be doing some work, more work on that, obviously. Um, I, yeah, I just really felt that that was important. It was a very clear insight to me because I guess I hadn't really acknowledged before. Sorry, it's so hot here at the moment. I hadn't really acknowledged before that I guess that I needed to you know, really say to the, the inner child within me that yes, I have, you know, I'm sorry if I've previously caused you harm or if I've made decisions or choices or done anything that hurt you or made you feel unsafe or scared. So I hope that that serves you well. Try it. If you do, please let me know. Um, I'm all for anything that the universe or my guardian angels or source gives to me to help me to step into the true power of who I am in joy and excitement, not in fear and insecurity. So there you go. So I'm using beautiful answered prayers, angel oracle cards from Kyle Gray for Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. <laughs> the inner voice. Of course it's the inner voice. I love it. Uh, thank you angels for guiding me through my inner voice. I just love how much of a sense of humor my beautiful angels and the universe has. And what's really coming through with that, there's so much joy coming through with that. So thank you angels for guiding me through my inner voice. There's, this is twofold. So sometimes when we get on this journey, it's like, well, what is the information that's coming through from my angels or from my higher self or from my soul? And what is my ego mind? <clears throat> Excuse me. And so what is really coming through for you in that is if the information is causing you fear, if the information or the thoughts or the feelings that are coming through are causing you to doubt yourself, to be defensive and reactive and perhaps feeling anger. If that's the, the, the reaction that you're having to the thoughts and the, the, the words or whatever is coming through to you, then that is the voice of the ego mind. If the information and the insights, which we so easily, you know, rationalize out with our logic, logical brain, our logical mind, or the ego mind, if the information that is coming through to you is uplifting, if it makes you feel great, if it's inspirational stuff that says, yes, you could do that, you could do that too. Um, there's no reason why you can't do this. You are, you look great, you feel great, you're doing a great job, you are loved. All of the positives that come through to you are the real messages that are coming through to you from your higher self, your soul self, your loved ones in spirit and your angels. It will never, ever be negative. So that is a really important, discernment is so important. It's so important to be able to discern the information that's coming through to you. And so that's a gauge that I've always worked on. If it's negative and causing me fear, no thank you, off you go. And it's in that moment where I will always say, and I've done this today as well, thank you angels. And what I did, oh thanks, they've just reminded me. What I did was a bit of a visualization as well, of course, because that's what I love to do. And so I just visualized my fear and all of those negative thoughts as like this little bundle. And it was actually, to be honest, it really just appeared to me like a bit of a, you know, a beautiful baby. And so what I've gone is all of these fears and all of these um, negative thought forms were just in this vision of a, of a baby wrapped up. And I handed the baby to my guardian angels and I just said, here you go. It, it, please take care of the needs of, of, of this part of myself that's feeling fearful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for helping me work through these fears and to release them. And the moment that I did that, uh, it was like I felt all this beautiful um, joy rise up within my heart. And I just felt 
the fear is starting to release and to let go. And so that is a beautiful message for you guys for Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. And so if you're ask for help, you know what your angels and your loved ones in spirit and your soul self is there just waiting for you to be ready. And the moment that you say, all right, thank you so much for giving me clear insight, clear indications, clear signs and clear knowing. That's, that's what I use. I always say thank you that way. So I hope that serves you well. All right, Thursday and Friday. Oh, thank you, Archangel Jophiel. She's just stunning, beautiful. Honor your beauty. So thank you, Jophiel, for helping me discover my inner and outer beauty. What I am, what I have always found is that there can be external beauty and it can be surface only. But when you, and you'll know these, you've met these people that they just radiate and this gorgeous light just glows all over them. And they're just a joy to be around. And the reason that that is, is because they are beauty from within. And it's just such an important message because it's what's in our hearts. It's the light that we bring to the world that matters. And it's in recognizing that divinity and that light and that beauty within us and honoring it and accepting it and embracing it that actually increases the beauty of you to the external world because we're all beautiful, we're all unique, we all have our own um, our own light that when we're embracing that light and when we're living that light it actually changes you externally it changes how you look it you just glow and that is really also calling on Archangel Jophiel to help you to shift the internal thinking thoughts that you're actually having of yourself and so when you call on her, so thank you, Archangel Jophiel, for working with me, for revealing to me my gifts and my beauty and my talents. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jophiel, for coming into my heart and showing me as you see, see me through your eyes. And that is just such a beautiful way to release the negative thoughts um, veil in which you're actually viewing yourself through if that's what you're doing if that's what you're doing but always 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 go into your heart space and just be your own cheer squad be your own cheer squad no one else can be the cheer squad for you that you need because nobody else can actually successfully fulfill that need because you will always be left wanting because the only person that your soul your inner self needs recognition from needs validation from needs respect value and love from is yourself so I hope that serves you well all right Saturday and Sunday I just love working with the energy of the angels it's beautiful move your body fabulous love this thank you and uh, thank you angels for motivating me to move my body and energy and this is so important you know we can live for days without food we can live for days without water um, but what your body cannot live without is energy and in order for there to be energy there needs to be constant movement if you think about if you see you know a body of water and if it's stagnant if it's not moving if there's no current flowing through it the water begins to actually die um, it can't support life all the life forms that or maybe there might be some that still you know survive but the majority of the life energy in that space of water will actually diminish the water will become stagnant it will become dark it will become you know full of algae and they're just there won't be any you won't feel that nice nature energy that we normally feel around water 
but when you've got a, a body of water and it's flowing and it's flowing freely there's life all around it there's bird life there's life in the water what a great analogy I love the stuff that they give to us it's fantastic um, so it, it's so important for you to be moving your body if you are finding that you are in a space in your life where you are finding it difficult to shift through say perhaps some emotions that are coming up for you if you're finding it difficult to shift through a situation or to get answers or to get some solutions to your problems you know we can't i think it was einstein i'm pretty sure it was pretty sure it was um you know we, we can't solve a problem with the same energy that created the problem in the first place so if you think about it if you're currently stagnant in your life and things are you know you're not moving outside of your comfort zone or you're not moving your body if you're just doing your nine to five if you're just sitting or if you're really take a look at the way in which you are expressing through movement and so I have previously put up um, Kim Eng, E-N-G, uh, she has a yoga shaking exercise which is so fantastic because what that does is it helps to shake out all of the blocked and stagnant energy that's within our body. So stagnant is a word that keeps coming through to me right now. So if you're feeling stagnated in your life, if you're feeling like you're in a bit of a rut and you're a little bit in Groundhog Day, then it's time for you to be moving your body. If you're finding that you're in, um, you know, I know if I felt down, if I felt flat, if I felt perhaps I felt a bit depressed or a bit lonely or something like that. The moment that I've gone out and moved my body, whether I've done yoga, whether I've, and I really do this. My daughter walked in on me not long ago and she just looked at me and went, you're crazy. Um, you know, I'm, I'm twirling around. <laughs> I have floorboards in my treatment room at my at my other studio and I love to just get there and twirl you know you know remember when you were a kid and it was so much fun to just twirl around you could pretend you were a ballerina I've never been a ballerina but I pretend to be so put some music on move your body jump up and down if you can't get anywhere jump up and down skip on a skipping rope go for a bike ride go for a walk it's important for you to move your body because you've got blocks of energy and from those blocks of energy they're attached you know there's emotions there's perhaps stored anger or fear or whatever it is loneliness that you might have inside your body and so the way to move through that to help you to move forward and to make change and to create that energy of movement and change and flow and circulation and recirculating is um, if you think about it the, the universe is always constantly in motion it never ever stops it's constantly moving it's constantly creating and for us to be that expression of creativity and creation and to have new ideas and inspiration and to create change we need to move with the flow of the universe not resist it not stand against it and not stand still and go well, I'm not moving with the flow because then what happens you are that log in the dam that creates that stagnant pool of water so I hope that they serve you well fantastic I love this thank you angels thank you universe thank you guides gods goddesses love it so the inner voice honor your beauty and move your body have a wonderful week um, as I said earlier, if thank you to everyone if you've already signed up for my online meditations. If not, I'd love to see you there. It's going to be amazing to have so many people meditating at the same time. I'm so blessed. I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So have a wonderful week. So much love to you all. As always, thank you for watching. And if you feel inspired, please share. Namaste. Thank you. Bye.